So recently, in the past couple of years, I've started using the term slip form cob, and a lot of people don't quite know what that means yet. Um, so I want to explain a little more about what I call slip form cob in uh, the next couple of videos here. So um, slip form cob is basically building cob walls using a forming system similar to how they make rammed earth walls putting the loose soil or mixture into a forming system and compacting it inside that form and the forms then get removed. Um, so cob slip form in a way it's a hybridized system between your traditional rammed earth method and your traditional cob building method. So what you do with slip form cob is you build a forming system and you put loose cob into the form and lightly compress it in there removing the forms and you have a wall. So um, this has a history it was done in the UK in the 1800s they called it shuttered cob. Um, shuttering is just another term for forms that's what they would call their forms was shuttering and um, it hasn't been used a whole lot since then except very recently um, and a lot of this um, methodology and um, experience comes from a research group called Cabage. It's a, or it was a French-British research team that um, just a couple of years ago they did all this development and research um, over in France and the UK, and they uh, they really made some great progress. And I've learned a lot from them, and so I call this slip form cob because I'm not exactly following Cabage, but I really want to give them the credit. Um, so this slip form method that I use now comes from uh, those methods they used in the 1800s, shuttered cob, and the cabbage project, and what they've put together. So I've combined um, that information, and I've experimented with form-built cob. That's actually what I'm inside here right now. You can see these uh, slip form cob walls behind me. These are the raw, unfinished walls. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make some more videos on this topic because I think it's really important for uh, the development of cob construction as a whole. Um, it does differ from your traditional hand sculpted cob buildings and it has lots of really great advantages which I'll get into. So the characteristics of the slip form cob walls most notably is how flat and plumb vertically they are. Trying to achieve a perfectly flat vertical cob wall is extremely difficult when you're hand sculpting. So that's one of the great advantages to the slip form cob method, if that's what you're going for. The other thing you'll notice is the grid pattern, which is imprinted on the sides of the wall. That's imprinted from the forming because the form systems for this method of cob building they have a thick gauge metal mesh as the siding and so that gets imprinted onto the cob wall which later is going to help the plaster to adhere on the cob wall so eliminating any need for a rough coat of plaster. Now the last thing you'll notice with these um, slip form cob walls is they have very little cracking. Um, a lot of cob walls you see have little kind of almost hairline vertical cracks um, in the surfaces of the walls. Not always but a lot of the time and that's because a lot of water is added into a hand sculpted cob mix in order to be able to make that cob malleable and sculptable enough but with the slip form cob method you're putting cob into a form and just lightly tamping it so you don't need to use you don't need to sculpt it like that and so the advantage here is that you can make your cob much drier and what happens is with less water in cob it's actually better because as that water 
dissipates out of the cob, it leaves cracks behind. Um, it leaves a void where that water was in there. And so um, you don't have that with the slip form cob method because you're using a much drier cob mix. Now that dry cob mix would be really hard to hand sculpt because it's it's that dry. It's, it's going to be very hard to hand sculpt the whole wall, whether it's with your hands or with hand tools. Uh, it's still challenging. But inside of a form, lightly packing it in the form, it's extremely easy. So these are some of the main characteristics of a slip form cob wall. So if you guys want to take advantage of the slip form cob method, I've actually got my video course updated now. Very recently I put in the new videos detailing how to do the slip form cob method. So in the video course now you'll learn how to build the forms, set the forms up, pack the cob, remove the forms, and how to do all the integrations with the roof and the foundation and such. So all those details are now in the course and um, now that I have time this winter I'm actually adding even more videos to the course. So there's a lot of good stuff there. Also, my 2025 workshop schedule is open for registrations. We're actually going to be building another slip form cob structure over here on my property in those workshops. So if you want that valuable hands-on experience with me, um, that's available too. So if you guys have any questions about this system, um, please leave them down below in the comments. If you got any value out of this, please like the video and share it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.